Mastering modal verbs, obligation and necessity. Hey there, English language learners. Welcome to another exciting episode of our English grammar series. In today's video, we'll be delving into the fascinating world of modal verbs, specifically focusing on obligation and necessity. This section will cover the usage of three important modal verbs, must, have to, and need to. So, let's get started. When we talk about strong obligations, we use the modal verb, must. This indicates that something is necessary or required. Here are a few key points to remember. Use, must, to express strong obligations or necessary actions. Must, is used for personal obligations or rules imposed by authority. It is used in the present tense but can also be used to express future obligations. Examples 1. You must submit your assignment by tomorrow. 2. I must wake up early for work every day. 3. They must follow the instructions carefully. Remember, must, conveys a sense of urgency or importance. It suggests that there are no alternative options. Moving on to our next modal verb, have to. This verb is commonly used to express obligations or necessities imposed by external factors or circumstances. Here are a few important details about have to. Use have to to express obligations that are not personal choices. Have to is used in the present tense, but it can also be used to talk about past obligations. In question and negative forms, have to changes to do does not have to. Examples 1. Employees have to wear a uniform at this company. 2. We have to attend the meeting tomorrow morning. 3. She doesn't have to work on weekends. Remember, have to emphasizes that the obligation comes from external factors, such as rules, regulations, or circumstances. Our final modal verb in this section is need to. This verb expresses necessity or the requirement to do something. Let's take a look at its usage. Use need to to indicate a general necessity or requirement. Need to can be used in the present or future tense. In question and negative forms, need to changes to do does not need to. Examples 1. I need to buy groceries after work today. 2. They need to practice their English speaking skills regularly. 3. Do you need to finish the report by tomorrow? Remember, need to implies that something is necessary or recommended but does not carry the same level of obligation as must or have to. Congratulations! You've now gained a solid understanding of how to use must, have to, and need to when expressing obligation and necessity in English. Remember to practice using these modal verbs in your conversations and written exercises to reinforce your understanding. We hope this video has been helpful in enhancing your English language skills. If you have any questions or would like us to cover another topic, feel free to leave a comment below. Keep up the excellent work, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy learning!